Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Check it. In today's video, we are going to be talking about iOS 14 public beta number three, which was just released to the public. So let's dive in and see what's actually new in public beta number three for iOS 14. Now, the very first thing I want to talk about is the actual music icon here for the music app. It has been changed. Now, here's an example of an old one right here on the regular iOS 13. And that's for iOS 14 with public beta number three. The next thing is when you go inside your music application, you'll notice that all these icons are now new, which are listed next to the actual description. So albums have its own icon, songs have its own little icon. So it makes it a little bit more lively inside here. And then we have a bunch of changes to the actual widgets. We now have the clock widget, and we also have a different widget for the music application. I'm gonna press and hold on the screen. I'm gonna click on plus to add some widgets. I'm gonna scroll down, and now what we have is we have new widgets for the clock. So when I tap on this one, I have this clock widget. I've got this uh, clock widget, which is the world clock. It shows you four different clocks. And then if I swipe over, I have the larger version right over here that I can drag and add onto the screen. The other thing is, if I go into my music, you'll notice that we have actual music widgets. Uh, the background color is now different, it's all red. So if I swipe over, look at that, it's all nice and red. If I grab it, okay, if I grab this and just swipe it and dump it right here, you'll notice that we have a new color. So that's fantastic as well. Now when you do swipe to some new area, I have already done this, but you'll see a splash screen that gives you a quick tutorial on how to interact with that area. And that's mostly for the actual home screen and a bunch of applications. So if I were to go to the widgets on the side, I would get a little pop-up screen that shows me how to edit, add, and remove widgets if I so desire, not a big deal. Now one more thing we have is again, if I go back into my widgets, tap on plus, Let's go down a little bit. Uh, if I go into my screen time widget, it now has been updated with more information as you can see. So it's gonna give you more details. Let's just grab one here, see what happens. So I'm gonna dump it right here, okay? We are in fact getting much more detail uh, on the screen time widget. It takes a couple of seconds to load up here, but you get the idea. Your apps will show up here and the usage statistics will show up on the top. So that's fantastic as well. Now if I were to take a screenshot, let's just do a screenshot real quick. Now what happens is overall everything looks the same, but when you tap the delete button, we have a slightly different styling at the bottom, not a huge thing. And finally, what I wanna talk about is the fact that if I go into my messages, all right, and if I go into my memojis, I now have a brand new face mask. So if I tap on edit, and if I go to headwear, all the way at the bottom, uh, we used to have this one, now we have the brand new face mask, okay? And you can change the colors as you can see if that's something you're into. All right, so that's it for iOS public beta, iOS 14 beta number three. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Socky Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.